hi everyone it's me jamshed raza from professionaltutorial.com and in this video we are going to see that how we can use dslr camera as a webcam right now which you are looking i have complete setup and you can see that uh, in right left hand side i have like canon eos 550d or 550d which is the old version in canon dslr and i am right now using some feature of that one which i am like using it as a dslr and if you don't know that from where you are going to get uh, eos software or what is that one then you are going i'm going to give the link in the description you can find the software of eos and you can install for the canon and after that you can easily work with your uh, canon dslr is a webcam but right now it is not looking as a webcam and we are also going to use one more uh, software that is obvious and it is like uh, uh, we have broadcasting software or it, that is studio and uh, in this one we are just going to add our that uh, uh, what we have like that remote view of windows in obvious now if i'm going to close that one for example and after that one i will also close that one and i will provide all information about that software in description of that video you can easily find that one and here i will write like eos um, before that one you should understand that you uh, need your camera to be connected with wire and it should be connected in usb and usb uh, with usb to your pc or laptop it can also be used in mac or windows whatsoever but for this tutorial i'm using right now that is windows 10 we will come in start and in start we will write uh, eos utility and uh, after eos utility will, you will find that it is the main dialog box of eos utility and you have like a camera setting and remote shooting you are going to click on that one and you will get that dialog box or that window and here you find like view live view short and when you are going to click that one you can see directly me and now i'm going to use that one in my obvious for live streaming or video recording we are going to use that one obvious studio and when i'm going to open obvious studio you will get a new window like this one and in scene you are going to add one new scene for example i will write dsl r as a webcam or webcam we are going to write that and press ok and you will find that in source we have nothing and you are going to just add window capture and here i will write webcam or dsl webcam dslr webcam and then we are going to click ok and name is already in use we are going to say window then now we are going to click here and uh, here you are going to capture for example eos utility and the main live like we have remote live view window you are going to capture that one and as you can see that we have a lot of useless information here then for that one i am going to do one thing here we are going to just press that one we are going to press ok and we will bring here and we can just hold down alt and we can trim the useless area for example now i will just increase the size of that one and now again holding down my alt key and we are just going to get the area which we want for example i want that area and as you can see now everything is looking all right and fine and as i can just move that one anywhere like for example if i'm going to make that full screen then i can do that as well and you can see right now it's working all right and fine and we can use that and record that one for example starting and recording that one you can record that and uh, if i'm going to record then i can start recording and that is how we are going to just record our like uh, screenshot or if i'm going to use 
for example let me just increase the size of that one and uh, we are going to increase uh, decrease the size of that one and i'm going to just add one new window or we are just going to add uh, maybe display capture and as i'm going to record the display then i will say display or my monitor monitor then i'm going to click ok and now you are going to see that we have our window here we are going to just make that capital and uh, that should be on the top and we are bringing that on the top and when whatsoever now i'm going to record here every window will appear here for example i'm going to record each and everything and that's how you are going to work uh, and you you make your dslr as a webcam and uh, further we have one more like software if i'm going to close that one and for that one you don't need like these uh, remote live view or eos utility software you are going to just remove that one and uh, for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to use the demo version and it, like we have spark okay you are going to open that spark okay and you will get like this one and as you can see that we have a lot of more option here and uh, there are different other options like right now i'm using demo version and uh, therefore you can see that the sparko software uh, or the sparko software is already in here and uh, the watermark is here and there you can also uh, buy that one i will provide the link of that software in the description as well you can easily download that one and in soft uh, in devices since i am using right now canon eos and it is 550d and therefore i uh, it it has already de detected that one you can also use that for the Nikon or either you have Canon or any DSLR camera it supports paramount cameras which are uh, in the uh, like in the market they support all of that one and you can see that we have Canon camera webcam desktop video everything is here like you can fail pay maybe like 50 bucks and you can get the, that beautiful software without using anything or any third party software and you have also some different effects here either you have special effect as well and you can use that one but i don't use all of these one and you have some resolution either you can use for example uh, it is uh, 1024 by 768 and you can just directly work on all of this one i hope you got the better idea that how you are going to use uh, your dslr for the as a webcam but remember that when you are going to use like uh, uh, when you are going to use obs obs will not work on your uh, skype or anything which just need a webcam obs if you are going to use obs it will capture the window only but in sparko we just convert the complete dslr and uh, we just say that it is now a webcam and all other devices will just understand that and detect sparko as a webcam therefore it is one of the best option as well but this is not free but you can get obvious for free and that is how the two software will work i hope you get better idea that how you are going to use your uh, dslr camera as a webcam if you liked that video just thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell icon for more amazing updates which we are going to upload upload soon and sure share it with your friends maybe it it will be helpful thank you everyone goodbye